today we're going to teach you how to grow through cardboard so it becomes part of the final object. Draw your cardboard pattern onto the cardboard, cut out with a craft knife. Make sure that air will be able to go through the growth form by poking a hole every two square inches. Make sure you're wearing proper personal protection equipment like gloves and safety goggles. Soak in hydrogen peroxide diluted, something that you can find in your pharmacy. The hydrogen peroxide will keep your part moist and sterile so that the dry cardboard does not pull moisture away from the mycelium. Fill your moist and sterile part with mycelium material. Place in an incubation chamber and seal it up to make sure that the mycelium does not dry out while it's growing. You can grow for four to six days. The longer you grow it, the more the mycelium will grow through the surface of your part and become white and fluffy. Now you can put it in the oven. Set your oven at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This will stop the mycelium from growing further. Check every 30 minutes to make sure your part does not burn. Your part should be 35% of the original weight. We found that corrugated cardboard, or the cardboard that you can find in a regular shipping box, actually will start to fall apart when you soak it for more than 15 minutes in hydrogen peroxide. This is why we recommend to use cardstock, or a dense variation of cardboard. This will allow the mycelium to grow through much easier. Check out our other exciting YouTube videos on how to grow mycelium into your creations. Thanks for watching.